innings by him before he had to retire her with uh, a back spasms. There's the bowling for Trinidad and Tobago. It tried hard, but in the end, Ghana put up. It really was a pulsating finish in a wonderful atmosphere at this ground. There's a summary. Trinidad and Tobago with Gangles 47, round in at the end, unbeaten 38. Brandon getting too early with it, still with it, deal behind. Ghana with Dowlin 80 not out, retired her. Sawan 49 not out, but in the end it was a six by Dion Ryan which won the match of the Penalty Bowl. They win by five wickets, they win five, they win two million US dollars. One million US dollars to them and half a million to the losers in Trinidad and Tobago. We now go down to Mike Easton. Yeah, thanks Tony. Of course Guyana are still celebrating. They haven't come out of the presentation area. Unfortunately Trinidad are here and they're not very happy. You can imagine they're very demoralised. But I have one of the legends who's ecstatic, the man who was in charge of the Guyana boys, Saviva Richards. Uh, what a performance. Yeah, I felt that um, it, it, it was a grand finale in terms of um, that finish. It was uh, a finish deserving of what 2020 is all about. And it was very special. What an advert for the game. You can't get any better than that. Um, I think the players spoke for the 2020 tournament and the spectators themselves uh, just in way they turned up in groves uh, we couldn't have accomplished this without them and I must say this to them right now thank you so much for making this what it's all about um, this is look like it's here to stay I think you're right now let's go back to your involvement with Guyana I mean you spent some time with them before the tournament got underway and you've been chatting to them all along again this morning before the game listen um, that played very well in this tournament and I think they must be given credit for I think the way in which they were, were managed by Darren Ganga. They, they played some uh, super cricket and they came up against a team tonight who I think were pretty determined to, to, to win and you would have seen Ghana they were certainly behind in terms of the run rate and this is what it's all about 2020. There's going to be some excitement at some point and I think Ghana came up on top. Uh, they played well you can't take anything away from uh, Trinidad. They, they they gave their all, but I'd like to think that um, Guyana, they, they 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 did it, and because I'm in their corner, I, I'm very pleased and happy for them. Sure, you are. What was the one piece of advice you gave them this morning? To be strong about it. Um, you're here in the finals. Uh, there are times when you do get um, teams who are so close that they forget about um, the things that needs to be done. And I know. Um, Sarge quite well, who is the captain of the guy and the team. I've had connections with him at the West Indies level. So I just basically told him, you know what to do, new guy, you, you, you are an experienced guy and they, they did it. I think um, everyone just fitted into place and the, the things that were missing, they, they, they got that tonight. And a million dollar shot to finish the game. Listen, <laughs> that shot you may say, it is the million dollar shot. I don't think any other shot in the series so far. But that shot itself, because I think there was one ball remaining. But he wasn't waiting for that particular delivery. He said, look, I'm out of here. I'm going to do it. And how well I think he hit that, that, hit that ball. Okay, terrific game in Viv well done on your team. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's Viv Richards, of course, one of the, uh, the legends who was involved and in charge of the Ghana boys. And we're not too far away from the presentation. Let's first go back to Mark Nicholas upstairs. Thanks very much, Mike. A reminder of what's happened here tonight. 175 for six by Trinidad and Tobago, who chose to bat first, with Darren Ganga leading the way, a cameo from Dinesh Randin, and then Guyana, 176 for five, seven or eight overs out from that. They really didn't look favourites. Some magnificent striking down the list and a very cool and collective performance 
from their captain Ramnaresh Sarwan, unbeaten with 49, saw them home and to the extraordinary prize of one million dollars. Now, there's a view of Darren Ganga with the, the Guyanese boys, Gordon Greenwich, one of the legends of course, and the chairman of selectors in those pictures as well. He's in the blue shirt. You need to have a big heart to be embracing each other at the end of a night like this by heaven you do. Jeffrey Dujon is alongside me. Enormous this for Ramnaresh Sarwan. We heard Viv allude to him, but uh, it's been a funny few years for him. We've seen wonderful form, particularly in the one-day matches against India. But this, I think, is big in his involvement. Well, this was a tremendous effort. And um, as Tony Cozy had alluded to before, Ramnaresh Sarwan, with the absence of Michael Bevan, has become an excellent finisher in one-day cricket. He stayed cool, he stayed calm. A lot of people thought that he should have gone at it a little bit earlier, left it a bit too late. But he was there, he batted through and he controlled things. And I think his presence alone helped Dowling and helped in the end to win the game. It's a funny thing that presence, isn't it, Douge? We heard from Viv Richards there. And perhaps no man in the history of the game at the crease has had more presence. Sarwan had that this evening. There was a calmness to it that, and to him that suggested that while he was at the crease, Guyana really could win the game. Well, he's been in situations like this before. He knows what it's about, and I think he, he calculated properly and realized that there was going to be a point at which they would have to take some chances, and if they got through that point, it would get manageable. They did that, and in the end, the game, I mean, this was a scintillating finish. This is something that you, you, you couldn't have, have, have dreamed for. It's been an exciting tournament, and to finish like this, regardless of who won, this was just like a dream. Thoughts for Darren Ganga? I've been very impressed throughout the series with the way he's led his team. He's been in control, tactically he's looked very sound, and he's kept the team together. They, of all the teams in the competition, have fielded like a unit. They've played well, played together, and I think they just lost the plot at the end. And a little bit of pressure got to them, but they played well enough to win, and they played well enough to be in such a very close final. Thoughts from a man called Dion Ryan, who just happened to hit the happiest six of all time. Well, at that stage of the game, to see one right in the slot, with just one ball to go after. You that know? has to have sorted out the play of the match, doesn't it? I would think so. <laughs> it's a, a 25,000 hit for him alone. <laughs> Who's your man of the match? We, we, we don't know yet, but let's uh, pontificate for a second. Well, I reckon that the person who set the game up for Guyana would have been Travis Dowling. He batted right through the innings. He got a, the highest score in the tournament so far. But the fact that he batted a lot of overs and, and was there, there weren't any wickets falling, Guyana could keep things under control, I'd give him the nod. It'd be a splendid idea, wouldn't it? Be carried from the field with the back injury and to get the man of the match award as well. We can find that out now because we're ready. Down beneath me with the presentation ceremony and Ian Bishop. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us for the presentation ceremony at the end of a wonderful tournament we started over five weeks ago with 19 teams. We came down to the big two and it's fair to say what a night it has been at the Stanford Cricket Stadium. Round of applause for both teams. This tournament will not have the atmosphere and the presence and the action it has had because of the teams, but more so because of the thousands of spectators who have turned up in their numbers, regardless of which teams have been performing and supporting this tournament. They've been buying for just under a couple of million US dollars tonight. The tension has been ripe. I just want to introduce the presentation party. Mr. Alan Stanford, the originator and financer of the Stanford 2020 tournament to my left. And also nothing to snigger at. I've got 13 legends behind me. 13 legends, great men of West Indies cricket. Please show your appreciation for these men who have helped to arrange and organize this tournament. At some point in time, very proud of the guys. What are the important aspects of cricket in Guyana where you feel this money needs to be invested? Well, again, well, Guyana is a very vast country. We have three counties which um, need a lot of help right now. Look at things are like too good. But with this, right, we put from this is not for we should be. And throughout the tournament, your team has done very well. Drill, you all are obviously grateful for the opportunity and the concept of 2020. 
Yes, um, it is not a lot for the kids in our country as well. And um, it has lifted the spirits and the game of the fellows. Well, I hope that the money goes to good use and that you can continue producing the wonderful players that we've seen on the show tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to the manager of the Guyana team. I'd like to ask the captain of Trinidad and Tobago to come up to the podium. And uh, the runners-up uh, runners in uh, this tournament, Darren Ganga, will be collecting a check for half a million US dollars as the runners-up of this tournament. Dan, what's the feeling at this point? Yeah, a little bit of disappointment, but I think uh, the guys have really played well. I must congratulate uh, Salman and the guys team on a wonderful game. Well done, Sals. I think the team has done a great trying to make We should be proud of you know, what these young guys have done. You know, we've got a young team, a very inexperienced team, and to come to the final and play this one, we must be proud of the guys. The tension of what seems to be enormous, without a doubt. Uh, just tell me a little bit about where you feel the game turned. Yeah, I think it was probably a partnership with Salman and Dolan. We had two chances that went down. But I think uh, our effort in the field you know, has been uh, probably the worst one in, in the entire competition. So I thought that we had the game so long, but I just think you know, the Ghanaian team they played better than us and they deserve to come on like this today. What do you think this is not going to be the region? I think it's not great to take uh, the entire support, the entire trust into cricket has been raised. I think the marketability of the game has been improved in the entire Caribbean. And it's really going to do well for the sport of cricket. Back in Trinidad now, there's a lot of young people who are interested in playing cricket and, and by extension all through the Caribbean. So this is going to propel the game forward and hopefully strengthen West Indies cricket. You've been a brilliant captain and a very good ambassador for your country as well. Thank you very much. Darren Gagan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you I'd like to invite the Guyanese team to make their way up to the podium and uh, they will come one by one. We'll start off with Orin Four, Ray Griffin, Tyrell Tom, Imran Khan, Andre Percival. Please show your appreciation for the winning team, ladies and gentlemen. Dion Ferrin, Lennox Kush, Neil McGarrett, Mahindra Nagamotu, Isan Crandon, Nasir Dinarai, Travis Dowling, the coach Albert Smith, the manager Carl Moore, and last but not least, the captain of the United Team. And once again, I have to relieve myself of the microphone to Mr. Alan Stanford to see if he would. Well, best we wouldn't do something besides just these uh, monetary gifts, which total one million. $925,000 tonight to be spent for the betterment of cricket. But instead of just the money, I want every one of you guys to go home with the equivalent of a memento that will remind you the rest of your life of what you have done tonight. And that is the ring. Look on the screen back here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Each one of you is going to get this ring. Let me explain the ring. Let me explain the ring. If you look at the ring, put the ring back on the screen again. Please put the ring on the screen. I guess we have technical difficulties. If you look at the ring, you'll see 18 diamonds around the bottom of the ring. That represents the 18 teams that you had to be to be here. 
Where he has a diamond in the middle, that is 